Good morning, kids. So, starting a fire. Uh, you need to be ready with extra materials. Say your fire is getting ready to go out. Well, it would be good if you have something combustible to add to it. See, like another banana leaf, some paper, something dry. You need to be ready. That's why in Scouts we say, be prepared. So, let me see if I can't get this lit up again. A little bit of fire, put it underneath it. Notice I took a few pictures of uh, the materials that I had prepared. You get a branch like this. Notice branches come with all different size little sticks. And then when you're making a fire, you add little pieces of sticks. Now this ground here is kind of wet, so it's a little bit of a challenge to start a fire. But you can do it. When you're starting a fire too, you want to add things lightly. People always want to just throw a big log on there. If I take this right here, this big piece of memory, throw it on there, it's gonna make it go out. I've watched students do that a hundred times. Put things on, put them light things like matchsticks, skinny things that light easy. Put them on, place them carefully, right? Like that. And then, once your fire gets going a little bit, you keep adding things. Slightly bigger and bigger, right? You can keep adding some leaves on top. See, I still got some of these good dry bamboo, sorry, banana leaves. You can even do things like add green leaves, but I'm not gonna do that right now. You can give it a blow if you feel like you need to, but right now I'm gonna break up some more of these sticks. God made us branches. One reason, I think, so we could just break them up and have all the different sizes of sticks we need to start a good fire. Yes, so now I'm adding smaller sticks again. Now I'm running out of little small sticks, so I'm gonna start adding bigger sticks because I've got a little fire going. Very gently again, lay a bigger stick on there. Slowly, there's an art to starting a fire. It's amazingly more difficult than you might think. Now I can, I mentioned before, I can put some green leaves on here. These will actually get dried out and they will also help hold the heat in to make everything sort of cook in there while they're getting dried out. There's many, but you don't want to put too many on there. And then you keep breaking sticks, adding stuff. Uh, this might be perfect. It might start to go out. It looks like it might be going out, but once you get it good and hot, you can rekindle it by adding oxygen. Yes, a combustion reaction requires oxygen. And you can do that by blowing. But I think we got enough little sticks going. Notice these sticks are slightly bigger than a toothpick, but smaller than a pencil. It doesn't look like much, but I do believe. Oh, I see, look, if it looks like it goes out, watch what happens if I blow. There's a little piece of wood. One of these light, skinny things is lit, and it's got some, some good... Uh, fire to it but it looks like it's kind of going out doesn't it so I'm gonna slide that in there carefully notice you can get your hand all the way around the fire just don't put it in it you can put it in it for a second but don't put it in for more than a split second you can add little pieces of wood wherever you want now if your fire isn't going as fast as you want give it a little blow as we say in Indonesia now you got it going a little better and then we just keep adding larger and larger sticks 
gently, gently adding them, right? I can break up these sticks, keep adding them. Notice I have them prepared. I can put the bigger ones right next to it, not necessarily on it. I'll put them right next to it so I can put little stuff. Then I'll take my bigger logs and I'll go ahead and put them next to it and start to dry them out. See that? Start to dry them good. Right? I can put some sort of on it. You don't want to crush a fire. That's one of the things that people do too, is they start to uh, just throw things on there. If you got a good piece of charcoal like this, ooh, it starts up easy. Watch this. I'll put that on there. It'll be lit in a minute as soon as it dries out. You don't want to crush the fire because it needs oxygen. Oxygen has to get in underneath so that it can burn. <clears throat> now, I'll take a couple more pictures later and add them. But there we have a good fire. Lots of air can get in there. Looks like it's starting to go out. What do I do? Give it a blow. I might add a few more leaves on top. Oh, it looks like it's going out, yeah? Oh, no, it's not going out. Because I have some good hot coals, right? Watch. I'll put a few more sticks on there so these guys get start to get baked. Notice how close you can get your face to it. Notice the wind direction. Watch. Let me get in here. Can you see me? Ah, uh, you too. See those leaves on the top caught on fire? They actually serve a different function, which is to uh, keep the oxygen moving. So, anyway, fire starting 101 thought I'd show you fire I'll take a picture later bye